Have you noticed how much everyone loves Lucas now? Interesting. Sure wasn't like that when he was alive. I don't, I don't know. know. Talk he always him. seemed pretty well respected to me. Remember what he said about William? Strange. I haven't seen Juan that pissed in forever. You know what ticked him off like that? He wants to be in charge. But there ain't no path to the top for that guy. No way. Imagine. Matt and Juan standing next to each other. Yeah. <sighs> 
I'll give you money. Just let me go. Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. <clears throat> he didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy. 
power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. And this horrible fear overwhelms me. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind.
Wait a minute. What the freak? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hans? You old fool. Hans? Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Ah, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip, then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> So she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, 
for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> 
everyone else. I had to sleep. Again. Then, then I got here in 2024. I was young. All my short life, I've lived in this.
C'est vrai Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance He's developed this compound with mushrooms and the leaves of some weed.
up like in the old days. Then I'll drop by. Inside, Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monsters come out.
you up? A, a little. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did.
Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Today, Sarah has a story to share with us. Sarah, please be good. <laughs> Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. What? What are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? No, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal.
parts for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Like, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to say. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Who the Let's fuck this Ohuda. Tell things, bro. Yeah, baby. <laughs>
Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Secret mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you got to know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen. You're incredibly brave. But I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? So now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was loading backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It'd be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure. If you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. We'll see. Ah, oh, okay. Well, see you soon. Hopefully. Inhibitor container detected. can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. No, I cannot take you there. We're in the middle of school right now. No field trips. Here, maybe this... Studious looking young men will help. <coughs> you don't strike me as the studious type, pal. Play harder than you, right? Just because the world's gone to hell. Take heed and bear witness, for this is the news of the last city standing. Today, new developments surrounding a baffling unsolved.
something you like in the bazaar? <laughs> you got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal. Whoever killed him must have been very strong. But the merchant's late. Sorry to hear that. Are you smart? Hey, I'm going sure. What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco... is dead. I... I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flour is yours. Yeah, the flour mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. It's better, I'm mad, mad, good. I wish someone would deal with the assholes that hijacked our water. <coughs> Five years of learning and all for nothing. Hey, you. I yeah, you. Have to get it Looking right for this work? Time. My... I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Nope. Why? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. I don't go out of my way to call attention to myself. Another admirable trait. You're looking better and better for this job. Yeah, which is? But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <sighs> Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it.
Later. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well,. I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because when nothing per so I Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs! I'm Aiden. Damien sent me up. Right. Damien, I... Boss, I... Now, I'm still trying to... Okay. To do it. Well... That's good. Looks like... Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. <laughs> 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 Some 
some of this. You're dead now. Break him down. Did you die? Oh, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden! You gotta believe me! Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't! How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Agent, stop! I'm sorry! I had to! I'm trapped! Believe me! They have my brother! Your brother? I talk, fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured, if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. 
But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. He's not here. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead. Is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I don't want to rush you, but my brother is in danger.
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. What? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Whose greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy.
Are you still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Do.
Don't go being a stranger now.
years of living in and all for nothing. Hear me, Damien. I just have to get it right this time. Never tell me that. No reason to see you. I'm good enough. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What's what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over again.
face, man. This disgusting, slimy, mutated zombie blood.
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? About not finding out the hard way that you can't fly. <laughs> Maybe if I weren't such a weakling and a coward, I'd have jumped already. But you didn't. Something is holding you back. Fear. Fear has always held me back. It held me back from refusing those assholes after they took my brother. It held me back from telling those doomed guys to run like hell instead of sending them to their deaths. I won't be held back anymore, Aiden. I won't hold myself back. You ready for this, Aiden? Because if I stop holding myself back, I think I just might be able to fly after all. Check it out! No! Aiden, this is Sophie. Let's talk now. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... 
F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question, about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Welcome, valued... Get it right this time. <laughs> and Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. <coughs> Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. <sighs> mm. 